miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the Barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse. Tee shot is looking good here. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Just three back from the leader. Going with the seven. Yeah, that one will play. And this putt will take them to five under par. This one's online. Ooh. That's just about three feet away. Nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The 14th, Rich, I know it's dear to your heart. The par three. You made an ace there in tournament history. Won a car. How do you tell the players to play it? Luke, it's a very simple hole in my mind. But for the mere mortals who are playing this game, it can be difficult because this green is not deep, but it, it's certainly wide. And it does tilt from right to left at a pretty good clip. Historically, it's not the easiest par three on this golf course, but for me, eh, I think different. This is on a stupendous line. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that will take her to five under. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. This 15th hole, a very strong par four, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dogleg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side. And you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Well, safe on the surface. Maybe it's time to hold a long-range bomb. A birdie putter waits. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. A par putter waits. The putt drops. Now at five under, heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The 16th hole, short par three, Rich, uh, but really good if you can get it close. It's an island green, if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. I think this is another one of the all-time great designs. It's only about 160 yards, Luke, but the whole green is surrounded by bunkers. Everything feeds towards the center and the front of this green once it gets on there. I just think this is a magnificent design. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. A 
it was a gallant attempt. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. She's currently in second place. As we head back up the hill towards the clubhouse, we're faced with the par 5 17th, a long, strong par 5. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. Anywhere to the left, even in the rough left, is just fine. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot straight back up the hill with some kind of wedge. It can be an easy birdie if you get the distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, however, you could have some issues. And this is a mighty performance. Look at the player creeping up the leaderboard at just the right time. We expected to see someone come out of the pack to contend for this title. This player is doing just that. And here we are with their fourth. Just three strokes back. She's got this to save par here. Like the look of this one. Oh, so close. And this one will be for bogey. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She got one back on that last hole. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Oh, almost went in. Now four back after that hole. And we head to the famous finishing hole at Riviera, the 18th, Rich, a really good par four. That it is. Fairway tilt significantly from left to right. There's a palm tree up top near the green. That is the line of sight off this tee shot. You find the fairway. Second shot is going to be back up the hill to a green that, funny enough, runs away from you. It doesn't tilt back toward you. It runs away from you. So your second shot has got to come in high and soft with plenty of spin if you want to get it close. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. And this putt for a final score of 67. It's got a chance. And that will be all she wrote. Rich, obviously close, but no cigar. But you've just got to hand it to this player for making that final round charge. It was impressive. From the very opening tee shot, this player was focusing on making birdies early and often. Unfortunately, not able to make enough today. 